Cleanup efforts are underway in Susquehanna County after flash flooding shut down roads, damaged homes and businesses, and led to rescue efforts. Newswatch 16's Jack Culkin joins us live in the studio with a closer look at the damage, and you went there earlier today, Jack. Lisa, yes, we did, and the water was still rushing, but that quickly turned parking lots yesterday into rivers as business owners in Clifford Township had to work fast to keep their inventory and stores safe from another round of flash flooding. Shot back last night for hours. Remnants of mud and muck can still be seen across the floors and parking lot of Clifford Beverage on Monday after flash flooding surrounded the business along Route 106 over the weekend. Just like that, it took my two coolers, believe it or not, <laughs> dumped them in front of my door. I couldn't get out, I couldn't go in and he couldn't get out. Owner Tammy Kohinski says the water left her and her husband stuck inside the business for hours on Sunday. Once the water receded, they were left cleaning up the mess. Just kind of devastating. It's my very first business. Had it for four years, and then this started happening twice. Moved things out in skid steers and pickup trucks, diesel trucks, and my family and friends came up and helped out, and then it was just a waiting game. Just across Dundaff Creek, Bill Wagner, owner of Wagner's Clifford Pharmacy, worked to get the store back up and running after being flooded twice. We had a huge um, wave of water come across the road, but thankfully we didn't get any uh, water into the pharmacy. And until things clear, Wagner asked people to stay home. The best thing you can do is just give us a chance to get stuff back on the shelves, uh, clean up the, the parking lot, get the mud out of here. Businesses in Clifford Township hope to reopen tomorrow. Coming up on Newswatch 16 at 6, we'll check in with homeowners also cleaning up after the storm.